Hello and welcome. Here's what's coming up on Pride today. The trailer for Whitney Houston's biopic is here. We'll give you a first look. Plus, have you heard of the new campy thriller, Do Revenge? We have interviews with the cast. And the hit Netflix show, Cobra Kai, is back for a new season. We're getting the inside scoop from the cast. Hey everyone, my name is Rookie Cornish. Thanks for joining me as we take a look at stories making headlines. I'm ready to dance with somebody who loves me. After a long time of excitement and hype, the first trailer for Sony's Whitney Houston biopic, I Wanna Dance With Somebody, is finally here. The trailer opens with the young Whitney singing in a club where Clive Davis, played by Stanley Tucci, is in the audience. Of course, he's immediately entranced and the legend of Whitney Houston was born. Among clips of Whitney singing throughout her career, the trailer also promises that we'll discover the Whitney we never knew. So perhaps we'll be exploring the years long relationship that she felt she had to hide her entire life, which was her queer relationship with best friend and creative director, Robin Crawford. While there were rumors about Whitney and Crawford's relationship for years, the two weren't confirmed as a couple until years after the singer's death. I Wanna Dance With Somebody is slated to hit theaters on December 21st. For more on this story, head to out.com. Is there anything more fun than a candy-coated teen thriller? Now with Do Revenge, we have a new film to add to the queer fave canon. The bubblegum bright aesthetic is paired against the dark sociopathic tendencies of elite wealthy teens. Plus it's so queer, so what's not to love? Our Rachel Chateau is chatting with the cast. First of all, congratulations on the film. Um, it's so much fun. It's so pretty. It's so cathartic. Um, <laughs> you know, female anti-heroes are kind of like my favorite thing. And uh, yeah, so how was it for you guys getting to kind of play bad? We awesome. loved it. Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about how refreshing it is because I think we also both, you know, act in shows where we play heroes a lot. You know, we're always saving the day and, and characters with really, really clean, good morals. Every season mm -hmm. we both manage to save the day. Yeah, we always, yeah, we always save the day. Um, <laughs> and we, we still do save the day a little bit in Do Revenge. But we ruin the day that we, we also, save. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We ruin the day first. Um, destroy the day. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that was something really refreshing about uh, playing our characters in Do Revenge is that we actually got to be anti-heroes. For more on this story, head to pride.com. And finally, Cobra Kai is back and it's getting rave reviews. Our Rachel Smith hopped on Zoom with the show's biggest stars, so let's take a look. This has just been, I mean, for the fans, for us, but also for you, such an amazing ride. I mean, let me ask you, what has been the most life-changing part of the success of Cobra Kai compared to the first time around with Karate Kid? Taking it all, uh, not taking it for granted, understanding as at this age, at this time, how rare and unique this scenario is. There are really few examples of that, where a movie yeah. in 1984 becomes a hit show in 2022, and you have three, sometimes four generations enjoying the same content. This character's meant so much to people when they when Karate Kid came out. They were kids that grew up. Now they have uh, their kids, and it's a, it's neat to be part of that. Um, and you know, on the first time for Karate Kid, it was a movie. It was a blink. You know, it was back then. It was before social media. It was before all kinds of stuff. Um, now you know, we're I'm a little more grown up, uh, and uh, a little more, a little more grown up. Have lots more life experience. <laughs> a little more, yeah, slightly, not too far from Johnny Lawrence. I want to know what the anti aging process is. I need to get a part in Cobra Kai. It, it seems like to be it seems to be martial arts. Where it's martial it's, arts? I, I guess so. Brock, it's martial arts, broccolini, Pellegrino, and good doctors. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need more of this then. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's right there. Pellegrino. I'm Ricky Cornish. Thanks for joining me on Pride today. Catch us daily on Advocate Channel, streaming now on YouTube.